Megan has a Diana moment in semi-sheer linen dress labeled her most daring ensemble yet. Royal style watchers were treated to a glimpse of Meghan Markle on Fraser Island yesterday when she surfaced from her rest in a contemporary linen dress. The Duchess of Sussex, 37, opted for a semi-sheer maxi with a thigh-high split from L.A. brand Reformation priced at $305.91. GBP 166 pounds and 56 pence, USD 218 dollars, which many commentators dubbed her most daring ensemble yet. But it wasn't the raciness of the summer gown that attracted most attention. Eagle-eyed enthusiasts were quick to point out the similarities between Meghan's floaty frock and the neutral-hued, sheer skirt worn by Princess Diana on a visit to a nursery school in 1980. 38 years apart. The flimsy gray and white fabric of both garments caught the sun in the same striking fashion, meaning you could see both royals' legs underneath. The pineapple dress, which the Duchess wore to explore the Queensland tourist hotspot with Prince Harry, marked a dramatic departure for the mother-to-be who has gravitated towards a more conservative wardrobe during her first trimester. The Duchess' linen dress was buttoned at the thigh to avoid flashing too much skin and she paired the cotton number with lace-up sandals by Sarah Flint and sunglasses by Karen Walker. Australia's balmy climate, and the fact that she is no longer hiding her baby bump, may account for Meghan's more relaxed approach. Whether the similar sartorial selection was intentional or otherwise, it's not the first time the Duchess has paid tribute to her late mother-in-law on the royal tour of Oceania. On the Sussex's first day in Australia, Meghan donned a gold bracelet and a pair of butterfly earrings which once belonged to Princess Diana. The late princess first wore the diamond-encrusted studs on her own royal tour of Canada with Prince Charles in May 1986. She sported the chunky gold bangle on an outing in London in 1990. On Tuesday, the Sussexes prepared to leave Australia and head to Fiji as they continue their first royal tour as a married couple. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex arrived back on the Australian mainland on Tuesday morning after spending the previous day on Fraser Island. Their royal highnesses will be greeted by a guard of honour at Suva Airport on arrival in Fiji, before calling on His Excellency the President of Fiji at Boron House. From there. The royal couple will leave Albert Park for the Grand Pacific Hotel to attend a reception and a state dinner hosted by the President of Fiji, at which the Duke will speak. On Wednesday, His Royal Highness will lay a wreath at the Fiji War Memorial and meet a number of Fijian war veterans, some of whom served with the British Armed Forces. The couple will then visit the University of the South Pacific campus in Suva after which their program will split. The Duke will travel to Kolo I Suva Forest Park and the Duchess to the British High Commissioner's residence, shortly followed by a trip to Suva Market. On Thursday, their Royal Highnesses will travel to the city of Nadi in western Fiji, where they will attend a special event at Nadi Airport. After an official welcome ceremony, the Duke and Duchess will unveil a new statue commemorating Sergeant Delayasi Labalab from Nadi Airport. The newlyweds will take a chartered flight to Tonga, 